Shut the door, I'm not eating the whole damn neighborhood. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Man Gamer Network. I am Combat Carl, and we are on episode 4 of the Ebony Beginner's Guide. The True Beginner's Guide. So, we're going to continue on. We're now going to talk about the daily routine. Uh, we're going to talk about some basic city building tips. Then we're also going to talk about the difference between resource production and resource gathering. Daily routine, whenever we log on, this is the screen that pops up. I check up here uh, in the monarch corner and I make a note of my power level, 9,523, which means we gained eh, nothing. <laughs> That's what you get when you start the game. We've got just under 100k of food. We've got 100k of lumber. Both of those are in danger of being taken if we are hit, if we are attacked, because they are in what's called the top bar. Just a note. Uh, keep track of what's in your top bar. And make sure that uh, if you lose it, it's not going to kill you. So uh, I check the power up there. I look at the status of my builders. My builder is idle. I look at the status of my quests. It says I have a quest. Consume six stamina. So we're going to click that. And then we're probably going to do this for just a little bit because we've been a little bit busy uh, in between the end of the last episode and this episode. Uh, there is a holiday event going on. And it is the uh, it is the searching Santa Claus event. It's a great event for you to take part in if you're a beginner. I do not have a mysterious puzzle um, alert down in this lower left hand corner. So we're going to go back up to the upper right hand corner where our gym bar is. This is where the chest would be. I had to. Uh, I, I've already opened the chest today. I just did it out of habit. That's how much I've done it. I logged on. I clicked it before realizing that I hadn't yet made the video. So uh, then we're going to go down to three dots. I don't have any red dot alerts. I don't have anything on my alliance alerts because we're not in an alliance. And for mail, um, we do have a, a little bit because I have all, well, no, apparently I've deleted all of them. Um, because we did have um, a bunch of reports for the, the Santa Claus, but... Uh, apparently, uh, again, out of habit, I have deleted all of those. So we don't have anything uh, to go on there. So uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is, uh, now remember, we don't have anything on our city. This is the one where we have escaped out of the tutorial. We have done the, the nine clicks whenever we get the bouncing sword of justice. And uh, I have... Uh, and so we have nothing. I mean, we don't even we don't even have a wall. So we got nothing right now. And if we go up to quests, it's going to tell us what what it's going to want us to do. The first thing it wants us to do is our upgrade our farm to level one. If we press the go button, it's going to automatically send us there. So now it's wanting to tell us where to put stuff. And I don't really want to put that there. You know, I want to put my stuff down here. This is where I'm going to start my first farm at. And we have all the requirements that we need for this. Uh, we're going to click build. We're going to use our builder for half a second. And then now, boom, we have a farm. And that was kind of fun. So we go up to quests. It's going to say, hey, you did what I wanted you to do. It's going to send us. This is going to go into our inventory. Uh, this food symbol means it's going to go into the top bar. Same thing with this lumber. It's it's loose. It's not in a box. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a number on it. These will say what does that one say? That says 5k on it. 14 5k food boxes for that one. So, this is all going to go into our inventory. We're going to hit claim. It's going to tell us upgrade your keep to level 2. Well, I think yeah, let's do that. We're going to go up here to our keep. Oh, here's a nifty thing. If you happen to, if you're playing on a phone and you have a touchscreen phone, you may be able to pinch this and to get a little bit bigger picture. If you are playing this on a computer, 
you can hold the control uh, and then use your scroll wheel and you can get you can see a little bit more real estate instead of being all squished up like that uh, does it work on a Mac I don't know I don't have a Mac uh, so we're gonna go to keep uh, these are all the options that we have available to us the one that we want right now is upgrade because it wants us to upgrade to keep two but if we hit this, we're going to tie up a builder for five minutes. If we hit this, it's going to instantly upgrade. So we're going to hit that. She's going to try to stick us back into the tutorial. We are going to resist because we don't want to do that. I'm going to build what I want, where I want to build it. Go away, Bronco Betty. Okay, we have upgraded our keep to level two. Now might be a good time to go hit our levy, get some, get some cash to work with. I have two levies, and that means two times I'm going to get whatever my gold revenue is right here. Right now, it's twenty thousand five hundred plus a thousand and twenty-five. We get a bonus because of our culture, so we're going to hit free levy, and then we're going to hit free levy again, and that'll again that'll just automatically be built into your your kind of daily routine. Our quests have gone off. Okay, I upgraded the keep. Now it's going to want us to upgrade our wall. We also levied gold once. Actually, no, we levied it twice. We're going to take those rewards. I try to keep my quest clean. I try to keep this bar as clean as I can. It wants us to upgrade the walls. Here's our wall. Oh, what's this? Server gift. Let's click on the server gift to see what it gives us. Oh, it's going to give us 50 gems. We certainly want that. It's going to give us 10k food backs. We hit the claim all. Tap, tap. Back, we're out of here. Let's upgrade our wall. It gives us an instant free upgrade option. Uh, there's usually not an instance where I will not take a free upgrade. And now that we've given us another quest, it's going to give us another reward. We need all the rewards that we can get because, you know, we're, we're level nothing. We're level one. We got... We got nothing to work with right now. If we go up to Quest, what does it want us to do? Now it wants us to upgrade a sawmill. We don't even have a sawmill. I'm going to put this over on this other side here. I'm going to separate my buildings. I'm going to keep like with like. I'm going to put my farms over on this side. So that way, if for some reason I only need to click food, then I can come over and I can click these. If I have these interspersed all through here, gets to be kind of a nightmare. We're going to upgrade our... No, it defaults to farm. We're trying to build a sawmill. So we're going to scroll over to sawmill, instant build option. Show you a nifty little trick here. If we go to upgrade and there's an upgrade available, sometimes it's a free upgrade. We just upgraded our sawmill to level two. Will that work with the farm? I bet it will. Instant upgrade for free. We just upgraded that for free. Uh, something that you might want to do, again, we're all big boys and girls here. You can do whatever you want to do. I try to keep my buildings as close to what the keep of my level is as I can. We're going to upgrade the shrine. We're going to upgrade our warehouse. Can't upgrade the tavern because the tavern's locked. Our keep has to be at level free, 3 for the tavern to unlock. Don't forget this little guy over here. Don't forget your rally spot. That uh, is the number of troops uh, that you are able, if you click on it and you click detail, it's going to tell you your march size right now. You can send 1,200 troops at a time. Is everything upgraded? Everything is upgraded. Scroll around the map just to double check. I don't know if you noticed this, but I certainly noticed this, that uh, we, had a, we had a help button pop up. That means we have available puzzles. Okay. Let's clear our quests here. It'll also kind of give us some direction. It wants us to upgrade our keep to level three. We're going to claim these rewards because we've already earned them. You can see we're getting some resources headed back up into our top bar. We used them when we built uh, when we built these. 
And so something that I want to I want to point out that will help you along in the game is all of these buildings that you have, if you click on them, it's going to give you the yellow eye, the information eye right here. And if you click on that, it's going to tell you something about this. Your keep provides an overview of your empire's advancements. Upgrade your keep to unlock new buildings and features as well as increase your gold levy. Your keep is the highest level building you have. We are keep level 2. Nothing I have can be a level 3 until my keep goes up to level 3. This tells me right now I have one of five generals that I'm allowed to have. I have zero of three subordinate cities because I can't even open a subordinate city till level 11. It tells me I have two free levy times every day. That levy amount is this. My resource gathering speed is 17,000 an hour. That's what I'm limited to. I'm nowhere near that because right now I have one farm making 250 an hour and lumber is at 250 an hour. If you click more information, you usually get a chart, something like this. It may have some information on there as, as far as if you can make additional troops at additional levels, but this is going to tell you when we go from level 2 keep to level 3 keep, the power it's going to contribute to our power rating goes from 34 to 45. So as we have been building these couple of things, look, we have, we have gone up in power. So uh, quickly, let's, let's talk about how to keep busy because you have got three different screens um, that you can work with. We have this little help icon and it is telling us there is something to do on the mysterious puzzle so we can come here and we can do mysterious puzzles and that may come in handy when we are let's go over here to the map view no bronco betty you may go away um, we are in a different location i'm not exactly sure what happened i kind of I don't know. We were under a bubble, but we were way over on the other side of the map. And then when I logged, then at one point, my city disappeared. And then I restarted the program. And, and when I did, I noticed I'm in a different part of the world. I'm way over here. And how do I know that? Because my bookmarks have got Santa locations for over here. I was way up here and I was working my way down this coastline finding uh, searching for Santa so I had a bubble up you usually don't get what's called force ported I don't you don't get force teleported unless you're being attacked well I had a bubble on so I, I couldn't be under attack I don't really know what happened if, if you have an idea what happened I sure would love to hear um, from you in the comments there so it doesn't matter this is where we're at um, you know we'll clear all those bookmarks and we'll and we'll start out again we we don't have a lot of resources to work with so one of the things that we can do is we can go outside into the map mode and I can right now I can collect lumber and I can collect food so if I click on this tile this is what we call this this is a tile and tiles hold resources it can hold lumber it can hold food it can hold stone or it can hold ore and if i want to gather some of that i'm going to click that tile if it says occupy it means it's empty so i have 200 warriors and 200 archers it's going to take me 26 seconds to get there uh, they are going to be in that resource tile for 2 minutes and 5 seconds. They are going to bring back 3.6k of whatever that is. This is my stamina cost. It's I have 91. It's not going to cost me anything to gather that. This is my march. If you click on this, it'll tell you. This is my troop amount or my march size. My march size is 1,200, and I'm only going to send 400 of that because that's all the guys I have. So if I click this, uh, there 
my donkey is in turtle mode right now because we are the baseline of troop speed so it is now going to march to that resource and it's going to gather from that resource and it's going to bring that resource back and it's going to add to us now if you don't want to sit around and wait for two minutes and eight seconds while it's doing this you can tell see right there now it's clicking down so now we can go back to our city mode if we have something in city mode that we can do oh we logged in so we're going to get to check in we're going to get a going to get a 200 gem uh, bonus you notice it didn't go up here because it went into our inventory into our items and there it is since the last time we logged in or the last time we viewed this screen everything with a new banner this is what has been added to our inventory and then this is this is the chest that we are getting from the santa event if we want to put those up into our bar we just click on them hit use and then it will take whatever is in there in this case we'll take both of these 50s and now we have 800 gems in our top bar so if you if you see that you got an award and you, and you don't notice where it's at say if it said it had a whole bunch of food in it and you didn't notice your food total go up go back to your three dots look into your items it's probably in a box down here don't open these until you need them because if you open all of this stuff and it goes into your top bar, if you don't have a bubble up and you get bounced, somebody's going to take all your stuff. Then if we want to, now we can go to the lumper yard. If there is, uh, I don't know, let's see if we can find one real quick. Um, if you see a resource and it has a little flag on it, then there's oh look there's a santa claus let's go get a santa claus we're going to click on it this is a level one santa claus you'll notice level one santa they only come with a limited number of gifts so it comes with three or two or one and uh i'm going to spend one stamina on visiting him it doesn't matter if he's right next to me or if he's all the way across the friggin map it's going to cost me one stamina so this is an extremely cost-effective way to get some stuff. He's, he's real. It says it right here. It's on, it's on the internet, so it has to be real. So we're going to go ahead and click him. He, we're sending one troop, and he is hauling tail to get there. He's going to briefly visit Santa, sit on his lap, tell him what he wants for Christmas, he's been a good boy, all that kind of stuff. And then he's going to run back with whatever it is. And we are going to have expended one stamina uh, out of our total we're running back but the point I was trying to make is if you see if you see a resource tile and it has a little flag in it if you're in an alliance it could be one of your alliance members oh, that's a three let's bookmark that one we'll come back and get that later um, but if it is a red flag and that belongs to someone else you will not have you will not have the occupy um, option it will say scout or it will say attack don't do that that's called tile hitting and that's a good way to make people hate you and then your life will will not be enjoyable at all uh, if you do it too many times then they will basically put out a, a kill on site um, uh, order against you which means if you see this person it doesn't matter what time it is pound them because they're being a jerk so we're gonna send our troops over we're gonna get some lumper we're gonna bring it back again to keep busy we're gonna come back to this screen we're gonna see what there is that we can do what we can do oh look we've got we've got a server gift so there has been activity on here it's going to say that when people purchase packages in the shop server points will go up when you reach a certain level the gifts are going to be upgraded and it's going to tell you the server gift refreshes once an hour 
and it's available to all players online to claim. So if you are online once an hour, if there's enough activity level, there's going to be a gift. Sometimes it's more. Um, it, the gift expires in one hour. Here's the kicker. Players can also claim an online gift when they are online for a certain amount of time. So if you log off, then that doesn't count for server time. There are some other advantages to staying logged into the game. I'll talk about those later. We're going to claim this. We're going to get out of here. We're going to talk briefly about resource gathering and resource production. Then we'll be done. Resource production is done here. The resource squares in your city, technically they're outside of your city wall, but that's just being picky. This is where resource production happens. And the reason that that distinction between resource production and resource gathering is necessary, if you go up here into your keep and you click city buff, again, from our introductory, our introductory video, a buff is something that adds to us, that makes us more. Everything that's listed in here has the possibility of making you better, making more, making more efficient. Um, if we go down to resource production, we're going to click it. See, there's nothing, we can't do anything to, to do resource production right now. We could offer 25 gems, but again, we're cheap. We don't have any gems to offer right now. Resource production later on, as we start to gather things, we will get um, speed ups for production. And when they talk about production, they're talking about what's going on right here in front of the keep. So if we go up here to our warehouse, you see this big harvesting hand? If we click on that, it's going to take everything from the front resource production areas, and it's going to load them up into our top bar. Now, we only have one of each, so it didn't really go up a whole lot. But the other thing that you have to note about that is it will tell you that uh, you should be sure and gather that. Please claim your resources within 12 hours. My guess, I haven't tested this, we'll have to do this and uh, maybe we'll do this overnight tonight. My guess is that when it hits 12 hours, this is done. It won't produce any more. That would be my guess. So we'll do a test on that and we'll get, we'll get back to that. The other resource term we want to talk about is resource gathering. And resource gathering happens out here. You can see that we don't have a march bar out, so our troops have already gone out, gathered, and come back. They have gathered resources out here. You will get different speed ups that will also increase the rate or increase the amount of your gathering, resource gathering. I see, yeah, you know, I'm pounding this, but it's important because if you don't know, then uh, you're not, you know, it's not good to just have a term fly by and you don't understand what it means because the more you know about this game, the more you'll be able to understand it and the better that you're going to do. This says produce and claim 100 resources in the city. Well, where do we produce resources? We produce those in our farms in front of the wall, in our mines in front of the wall. And then it says and claim there's two parts to this. First of all, you have to produce them, which are those little numbers above your resource tiles in front of the wall. And then you also have to use the hand to claim that. It's two parts to it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to claim that reward. And then we're going to send troops out. What well, You know what we're going to do. I think we're going to bookmark a level three Santa. How far away is that? If you wiggle this a little bit, It'll tell you how far away it is. That's only 60k away. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to snag that. So that is our daily routine. The beginnings of our daily routine. Our basic city building tips. Uh, keeping busy.
and also resource production versus resource gathering. So what I am going to do outside of watching this is I'm going to upgrade this keep to level three and then I'm going to upgrade everything in uh, inside that I can that is currently there. I'm going to upgrade that to level three. I'm also going to add another farm. I'm going to upgrade the farms to level three. I'm going to add another lumber mill and I'm going to upgrade that to level three. And that will set us up nicely for the next episode where we're going to talk about researching. We're going to talk about troop training. And if we have time, we're going to touch a little bit on basic general information. Anyways, I'm Combat Carl. This is the Old Man Gamer Network. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, hey, if you've got any helpful hints, make sure you put them in the comments uh, down beneath uh, the sermon notes because there's a lot of smart people out there and there's a lot of tricks. This game, this is not just a puzzle game that you play when you're going to the bathroom. There's a lot to this game. There's a lot to learn and there's a lot of tricks and I don't know them all and I sure would like to hear a trick or two from you guys. Anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure and tap that thumbs up button if you think we've earned it. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell to be notified when new content comes out. Be sure to check out these other videos. And I'm Combat Carl for Old Man Gamer Network. You guys be sure to go straight home. No screwing around.